What's going on Treader Up Nation? It's Johnny Chaplin and today I'm going to take you through a quick 11 minute workout for Workout Wednesday. I'm going to try and do this one of these every week and upload it to the YouTube channel so you can grab your shred ropes and click play and just follow it along. Um, there's going to be no music or anything so I'm just going to put some of copyright free music over the top but just bang your own headphones in and then I'll put a timer on the screen so you can follow along exactly. Um, if you want to listen to and I have some pointers about jump rope form, about the different um, different moves you can incorporate uh, during your workout then you can leave your uh, your headphones out let me just double check so yeah after checking that the camera's filming obviously new to this I'm sure it'll be more slick and smooth in the next coming ones uh, but yeah it was filming so anyway what I'm saying is you can leave your headphones out and I'll be giving some pointers throughout the whole workout on things you could be doing uh, different ways you could spice up the workout uh, because obviously the amazing thing about drum rope is that it's so versatile, you can do so many cool things with it and it never gets boring. Medium white circle. Right, so we're getting one straight into it. LB for one minute. So we've got one minute of the half pound rope. When you start jumping, you don't want to go straight into tricks. I suggest you just start in regular bounce. You've got to get your calves warmed up. So you want to stick to a nice, nice light on your toes, straight posture. You don't want to do anything fancy for like the first five minutes really. When obviously when you just started jumping, don't That's be trying to do way. don't be trying to do double unders or anything. Just keep it simple. Cause you've got to get your body and your tendons and calves adapted to jumping rope. So yeah, you don't want to be uh, doing anything to single leg. Boxer steps pretty good. But yeah. So, one minute, jump rope. Three, two, the heavy rope. One. Get ready for 10 seconds. Right, 10 seconds. Three, Let's go. Two, right. One. So, basic jump for 30 basic seconds. Jumps. 30 seconds. I'll find right now. Let's go. So, preferably, I'd have a shorter rate right now because all I want to do is just go fast and burn those calories and get sweat on. Right, five seconds left, guys. Three, two, one. Rest for 30 seconds. 30 seconds off. So yeah, what's important here, chest up, light on your feet. Make sure, if you're new to jump rope, guys, all you want to do is regular bounce for a bit. You don't want to be putting unnecessary, uh, don't want to put unnecessary impact force on everything while you're jumping Three, like this, which you will two, be, or one. stomping Basic down. Jump for 30 seconds. You want to keep it light on your toes. Keep your elbows up and back. And then rotate with your wrists. Let the bearing do the work. Tense your back, tense your muscles, tense your core. And jump to shred, baby. <laughs> but yeah, just keep it. If you want to just do regular bounce, do regular bounce. Rest for 30 seconds. 30 seconds rest. This is good intervals, give yourself time to work into it. And then you can sort of build up for doing longer times. And I mean, it's a weighted rope, so you still get a burn. So yeah, 10 seconds. Obviously, pause it whenever you want. If you want to take an extra break, we'll get some water. Three, two, one. Basic jump for 30 seconds. Basic jump again. Keeping the form nice. Keeping it warm. Get your calves warmed up. knees if you fancy it mix it up three two keep one. moving rest for 30 seconds right guys so if you're constantly tripping over 
then check out my uh, my last video that I posted talking about rope length, rope sizing, make sure your rope's too long. Quick summary, uh, make sure your rope's the right size. Quick summary, if your rope keeps bouncing up and hitting the front, it's too long. If you keep catching your feet or your head, it's too short. But remember, form makes a massive difference. Three, two, and I'll show you that in a minute when we move to the quarter pounder. Basic jump for 30 seconds. So another 30 seconds of basic jump. that few from the side. What we can do quick step. Three, two, one. Rest for 30 seconds. So if you're brand new to jumping, brand new to skipping, and you see me do this, this is a really good way. Just practice without jumping first. Just swing the rope either side and then open up because this is a really nice way to smoothly start skipping and to smoothly start. Alright so give that a try. Um, but yeah, hit these workouts guys and then afterwards Three, you can have a little two, play around doing some of the tricks. Basic jump for 30 basic seconds. Again. So like side swing and then open. And then you can incorporate that into tricks in the future. So as you can see, you can really mix it up with what you're doing. It's not just Three, 10, two, 20, 30 minutes one. of this. Halfway. You're doing great for 10 seconds. That's it guys, you're doing great for 10 seconds. <laughs> you're doing great for the whole workout, Three, so keep it up. Two, one. Change your rope red circle. Right. One stroke, four LB so, for one minute. Quick, easy, change your ropes. All you've got to do, pull a quick change mechanism back, pull it out. Pull it out. Take your old, old rope, pop it there, and we're going to switch over to the fast four pound rope. I was going to switch between the two handles, but it's good to show you guys how easy and quick this is. So bang. That's halfway. There you go. So obviously, I like to keep all of these in my case, but I just took these two ropes outside because. But uh, putting filming this video off because it's new, but like anything, you got to push yourself and you got to do these things and uh, get out of your comfort zone, guys. And that's where you grow. So leave a like if uh, you're enjoying this video. I should do more like this. Get ready for ten seconds. Right. So now I expect you guys to level up the speed this time because this is half two, the weight. One basic jump for thirty seconds. So as you can see guys, this is actually much, much shorter than the last one. So I'm very much aware that I, uh, I've got to be really careful with my wrist control and my hand placement so that I don't accidentally lift it up too high and trip over it or lift it up too low and hit myself on the top of the head. Three, two, one. Rest for 30 seconds. Yeah, this, we start off with a beast rope the heavy rope, we get with the blood flow, get a good sweat on, and then we move on to the fast speed rope, or the quarter pound rope, and we just have a little play. Have a little play with your footwork. So there's three steps that I like to use. It happens, drop your ropes, trip. Three steps that I like to use, I'll wait until it goes in. Three, two, one. So, Basic jump for 30 seconds. We've got a regular bounce, which is like this. Both feet move at the same time, and then we've got a quick step like this. So it means that you can quickly, literally, just run on the spot basically. And then you've got a boxer step, which you're staying light on your toes, and then one of your feet is leading. Rest for 30 seconds. So it's just a no arms, just feet, so you can see. Regular bounce, quick step, and then boxer step. Like you see boxers staying light on the toes. You kind of just like, not like galloping like a horse, you kind of just staying on your toes, switching your weight, staying light. 
three, grooving, listen to two, a bit of music, one. have a great time. Basic jump for 30 seconds. Right, so, now, we go in, so nice form, wrist control, regular balance, form like that, quick step, and boxer step. And then, with a good, good bit of play, with a good playlist, guys, Two, you can really just uh, get lost in the music. Jump rope is class, and a weighted jump rope is even better because you burn more calories in the same amount of time. So, less time, more effort, burns more calories. Don't know what I did then. <laughs> you know what I mean. Basic jump for right, 30 basic seconds. Jump again. What I mean is, you can put the same amount of time at work in, but burn more calories. So to me, it's a no-brainer. If I can burn 30% more calories doing a 10-minute skip than a run, then I'm gonna skip, and I'm gonna have twice the fun. Good job guys, you're doing really well. So if you keep tripping, don't worry about it. Just try and stick to the timings. But remember, everybody starts somewhere. I always still trip. Can't be helped. Especially with this rope. I actually think I cut this one a bit too short, but we adapt to it. Um, if you do ever cut your ropes too short, give us a message Three, on Instagram, two, or one. give us an email, Basic contact at www.co.uk and we'll do our best to help you because we know accidents happen. <sighs> if I can cut my rope too short then, I can't really blame anyone else for cutting their rope too short. So, we're trying to uh, share the love of jump rope, help everyone reach their fitness goals. So if you keep tripping up because you made a mistake of uh, your rope being too short, you shouldn't get penalized for that. So. Three, two, Give me a message. One. Rest for 10 seconds. That's it. Yellow five pointed star. You've done it. One complete so, yellow five pointed star. That is. Well done for one minute. Ten minute. Put your first workout Wednesday. A rapid ten, ten minute workout with some pointers about jump rope. Talking to you, trying to get a bit of engagement with you guys. And um, let's just keep growing, fam. If you have any questions whatsoever about jump rope, about learning, if you want any specific videos on tricks on um, workout plans, when you should skip or whatever, just leave us a comment, shoot us a DM on Instagram at shredrope. And uh, yeah, I'm just, this year I really wanna focus on just spreading how great jump rope is with as many people as possible. And uh, I'm a consumer guys, like I absolutely love jump rope. And the reason why I create shred rope is through that love of jump Three, rope. Two. Uh, so yeah, that's workout complete. Your timer is complete. Uh, but yeah, I'm a consumer, guys. So I created Shred Rope because I love Jump Rope and I just wanted to create something in the UK um, that was affordable for what you get, a premium rope. And uh, I'm really happy with it. And uh, I hope that, obviously, I can provide it to as many people as you, um, as many mm. of you out there, as well as trying to just give you as much beneficial information about Jump Rope that I've collated through my time jumping rope and also if you, you don't know what you want to do for cardio, but you know you want to get in shape, then just follow along to these videos and uh, yeah, get yourself a shred rope or just get yourself a jump rope and get involved, get moving and jump to shred. Right, so remember to leave a like, comment, uh, everything I've said about that and subscribe if you're new and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Your boy's gone skis. Just come on.